After having visited the country with their family some time ago, one high school senior tells me anti-Semitism has real personal impact, including she is now concerned that she may face anti-Semitism on college campuses. And it was notable that this day involved people from all walks of faith who are standing up against hate. Israel. We are here united, Democrat and Republican, House and Senate to say we stand with Israel. Let's be honest here. We have a open air jail where the location of this open air jail is mm, is is smaller than mm, your average city block. It's it's it's, it's about it's about as large as a city block in New York City, all right? It's, it's crazy. It's this little puny, small piece of turf that these incredible people and geniuses are bombing, okay? Without any type of evidence of any terror. And even if it was terror in there, you have no right to bomb as you are doing. You are a terrorist, my friend, because when we were going, as the United States were going after Osama bin Laden, we could have flattened his compound. We could have flattened him. We didn't have to put our troops in danger. We didn't have, because, listen, everybody in that compound that was around Osama bin Laden, they will be charging after you. There was going to be a fight. We knew this going in there. We didn't even know exactly how, and we didn't even, the intelligence was, we didn't know how many people were on the compound. We didn't know how many. We didn't know. So the thing is this, we could have flattened that place, but we didn't. No, we strategically and surgically went in there and did our due diligence to get Osama bin Laden. Okay. And that's only, that's all I'm talking about. I do not believe in mass murdering innocent civilians. 74% of the people that's murdered in Gaza city today are women and children and little babies. Are you kidding me? Let's be serious here. I don't want to hear nothing about this 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 nonsense that you're constantly uh, attempting to bring on the masses. I don't want to hear that you found weapons in these hospitals, okay? We don't want to hear that. You planted those little chump weapons there. And it would have been way more weapons than that. And and excuse me, why would Hamas leave their guns there? That's their lifeline. It's not like uh, American troops or Israeli troops where they have a surplus in these uh, type of uh, equipment uh, equipment for this particular war. All right. It's not like that. Hamas is not leaving behind their guns. That's not happening like that. All right. That does not make any sense. These people are tricking you. I hope that you understand. I will be covering this. I love you all except for the ones.